morning, you guys. Mitch and I, it's so messy in here because we are still moving into this house. Like, we have not yet closed on our other house. So, we've been slowly trickling everything in. But I thought I would do a little full day of eating. I haven't done one of these in a hot minute. And I actually meal prepped. And today I'm not very busy. So, I thought, you know what? I'll be able to just actually film everything. I'm about to go to the gym. The gym fit. And typically like this early, what time is it? It's like 6.15ish right now. We've been running a little bit behind because Chick has not been feeling well. So Mitch has had to wake up like every two hours to let her go out to the bathroom. So we're running a little behind schedule, but typically in the mornings, I do not like to eat a lot. Like I'm just not hungry this early. Usually what I have before the gym, don't think I'm disgusting, is I have two hard boiled eggs with pepper and I put a shit ton of mustard on them. I love my hard, hard boiled eggs with mustard. But I'm about to go to the gym, hit upper body. I don't think I'm gonna bring you along. I think this is mostly just gonna be a full day of eating type video. But I will see you guys after the gym. Okay, I lied, I'm not leaving yet. I, I forgot that like full day of eating just means I need to show you everything I consume. So I'm about to have half an Alani witch's brew. I have been stockpiling these. My only flex, my biggest and only flex was that I did the photo shoot for Witch's Broom. You can't tell it's me because they put so much makeup and editing on my face, but like, it's me. Next, in this bottle, I have creatine, and then I have balance powder. Code Marissa saves and supports me. Quick thing about balance powder, I don't wanna say that it like works for everyone. Typically stuff like this, I'm like, a little skeptical about just because like it says like brightens skin clears complexion hormonal balance this is my first time using this i started using this about eight months ago now i used to have terrible awful very sorry tmi heavy periods right when i got off my birth control like to the point where i was blowing through a super tampon in 20 minutes the amount of times i would be out in public and i would bleed through my pants and mitch would have to like run over and like cover me up it was like really traumatizing. Um, once I started taking this, probably about two months, a month and a half or so, after I started taking this, my next period, so after like the first month, my next period, totally normal. It was like a four to five day period, was using regular tampons, wasn't bleeding through. Before I was taking this, I would have like a two day period where I would just be like, gushing blood again sorry tmi so i don't want to say my period changed solely because of this but i got off my birth control probably two years ago now and only about eight months ago did it start to regulate a year and a couple a year and four months seems a little excessive for my body to get back to normal the doctor did say it would take some time since i was on birth control for so long but like she said like six months to a year and we had surpassed a year. The only reason why I think this helped was because I changed absolutely nothing else in my diet. Nothing else. There's like no special recipes and except literally adding in this balance powder. So try it if you want. Don't try it if you don't want to. This is just my, this is just how it's been working for me. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the gym. Back. I'm back, you guys. We just made breakfast. I'm about to eat it. Okay, breakfast. I did not weigh this, but I it probably comes out to about a cup. Mm, let's see. It's about probably 200 grams of yogurt. This was entirely full. Like this was brand new and I used all of that. You can kind of see it under there. Lots of blueberries and then honey on top. Mm, if I could guesstimate maybe 75 grams of blueberries and maybe 10 to 15 grams of honey. Again, I'm not really tracking, but all I know is she has high protein and lots of good, not lots, but like some good carbs for post-workout. Honey is straight carbs, I'm pretty sure. Also, I promise the honey is good. It's just super, what's the word? Like, look it, it's not moving. So I think the honey's still okay, but it was so freaking hard to squeeze it out of that box or that bottle. Okay, I know this is a full day of eating, but I received this. PR package from Fab Fit Fun. And I don't know about you, but I'm a sucker for when people open their packages. I remember everyone getting Fab Fit Fun boxes. 
And I was always jealous because just, like I've never ever gotten a fab fit fun box. This was super cool because I got to personalize and like pick out everything in this box. They gave me options, which I absolutely love. I'm very much like in my skincare era and I'm trying to remember what I picked out. Oh my God, of course I opened it upside down. Spring flings and very nice things. She is so cute. <gasps> Deals for days. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this. So I know this is, this is not skincare. I know I talked about skincare, but Mitch and I have like been wanting to start, wanting to start playing pickleball, but like we just never bought paddles. How cute are these? I don't know what brand these are, but they're, I'm gonna open them so I can show you the, um, I love these so much. We're going to Jamaica in a few months, like in, April and these are gonna be like absolutely perfect. Okay, these are from Moomoo, I believe is the brand. I love these. Like I said, we're bringing these to Jamaica and we're gonna start freaking playing pickleball. Okay, next, ooh. Living Proof Dry Shampoo. I think I've only ever used this once or twice. I think it was my mom's and I loved it and I just, never bought myself some. So when I saw this on the list of options, I was like, yes, immediately yes. Right now I'm using baby powder and it's it's time to be done smelling like a baby. Okay, next, ooh, so cute. I told you, I'm in my self-care era. This is um, like a little face washing set, like not set, but you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So it's like a little, um, am I good? with these cute little, so the water doesn't run down your arms when you are washing your face. And then I think this goes like this and I tie it. Cute! And then we have some pore smoothing sunscreen. St. Jane Luxury Sun Ritual. I think I got this with Jamaica in mind. Even though you should be wearing sunscreen every single day, I do, but yeah, this just looked very bougie and cute. And I was like, I need you for Jamaica. Um, let's see, ooh. Okay, so long story short, Sephora for my birthday, I got a little hand cream from this place, from this co um, company called First Aid Beauty. And I got like a little sample, loved it. So when I saw FabFitFun had a First Aid Beauty option, they are facial radiance pads with glycolic and lactic acids, safe for sensitive skin. Yeah, so you just wipe pad across face, neck, and once or twice after cleansing. I was like immediately, yes. You are also coming with me to Jamaica and probably Miami too, but love. So excited to try that. And then the last thing I got is from Tula. <gasps> you guys, it's the way I have been wanting to try Tula for so long. I don't have any Tula products. This is my first one. Um, so when I saw Tula was an option I could pick, I was like, you're mine. This is Tula Skincare 24 seven moisture, intense ultra hydrating day and night cream. With these Michigan winners, I need all the hydrating cream I can freaking get. Like, ooh, she's so cute. Okay, that is it. That is everything. I believe I do have a code. Not me not remembering my code. I'm gonna stick it here on the screen for you, but it's insane. Like the amount of things you get, like the value of the Fab Fit Fun Box is just so good. Like, and I believe it's every, so this is their spring box. I believe there are four boxes a year and you can subscribe. Um, again, I will put all the details on the screen for you guys. That was really fun. I know it's a little chaotic. That was my first one. So I wasn't really sure what to expect, but I absolutely loved it. Okay. I'm gonna go shower and then work a little bit and then we're just gonna slowly get back into our full day of eating. Okay, one thing I hate about these full day of eatings is that I'm in the kitchen every single second of this video and I promise, I pinky promise, I've been doing stuff. So, actually I wanna go show you before I show you my food. All the crap in our house, this is not including the garage, so, so that's full of clothes, random stuff, random stuff, not that bad. And then we get into here, clothes, goodwill, more clothes, more furniture, dressers, clothes, crap, more just everything. And then it continues into this room. You, It's just, I'm stressed. Whatever, doesn't matter. My tripod, oop. Um, I just heated up lunch. This has been, I think I've made this the past three meal preps in a row. Okay, so we have shrimp, asparagus, 
carrots, quinoa. I promise this is delicious. I know it doesn't look as appealing. And then I have a little puppy on the side. This is, what is this? Dr. Pop. And then I always sprinkle, not sprinkle, put um, soy sauce on this dish and it's phenomenal. Like I said, I am not going to share any specific macros, but at the end of the video, I'll share like the generic, how many calories I consumed. I don't really track, I'm not really training or prepping for anything. I'm just kind of eating when I'm hungry. But yeah, so I'm gonna go enjoy my lunch. I love you guys. I will, oh shoot, I have a meet. I have a meeting in like 25 minutes, so I will see you guys later. Okay, love you. Okay, so it's, it's six o'clock. Typically, I would have eaten by now and I'm starving, but I ended up going to Home Goods with our interior designer. And then I had to run a couple other errands and I did think to, you comfy? <laughs> I didn't think to pack a snack. Um, so I'm about to heat up dinner, but I just want to show you what I got from Home Goods because it is so cute. So basically in our house, in our living room, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12 like cubes in a built-in and they just need some love and some decoration and so we went and got a bunch of really fun stuff to go fit in there chicky chicken is not feeling better by the way okay first of all i got it's massive and it's kind of heavy the infamous is that the right word tom ford book you guys look how massive this is, okay, this I got for like $69.99. On Amazon, I think they're around like 85 to 100. I don't know for sure, but I was like, I need this. Let's see, let's see what else we got. Oh, I got this glass vase and it's not necessarily for the cubes in my living room. It's more so, I don't know, but it's so cute and kind of different for like flowers. I don't know if you can see it very well. You see it up against me? I don't know, I love it. I got two of them. I got one for my mom too. They were $9.99, so I was like. And then my um, interior designer also got one, so we cleared them out. And then, kind of want, needing to play around with this a little bit, but I got these like little green balls. And then I got this wooden, like shallow bowl. And the vision was kind of to put these in that bowl, maybe, I don't know. And then put that on top of the Tom Ford book. If you guys have ideas, please let me know. I don't know if we're gonna keep this. It kind of has like a fun texture. So I don't know where it's gonna go or how it's gonna look, but we're just kind of in the mindset, like let's get it if we really like it. And then we can see how it fits in the space. I got this for a little table as soon as you walk in our back door as like a catch all dish, like, our keys, our wallets, super cute. Don't have a table yet for that space, but when we do have a table, we will have our little dish ready. And then, so I've been wanting a vase like this. I don't know if it's weird, but I really liked it and the texture of it, it's like rough, but you know, maybe put something inside, maybe don't. Kinda liked it. Added, like I said, add a little more texture. I couldn't tell you what my style is, but okay. So I see these all the time. And I just never know how to, what to use them for, but I found some white ones that I really liked just to kind of like stack around. I don't know. That's what my interior designer is for. She's gonna help me with all this. And then we got, okay, this vase is gigantic. I don't know what we're gonna do with it, but I really like having like little, the little black accents like all around the living room. It's kind of a fun, weird shape. Don't ask me what I'm gonna do with this. I don't know. I do not know. But I will show you the final product of the wall. Um, my interior designer is gonna come tomorrow and we're gonna do the wall together. So, we'll keep you posted. Okay, last bag. Of course, they're all wrapped up. We got two of these. I don't know where they're gonna get put or for what, but they were on sale. These cute like little balls. I don't know, they were 450, so we got two of them. And then, this is the worst haul ever. I'm so sorry, you guys. And then the last thing I got is like another little dish thing. I'm all about the dishes apparently because I got three of them. But like I said, this was supposed to be a full day eating. It turned into like several little hauls. I'll show you the final product tomorrow because I'm hoping it's gonna turn out really cute. Um, obviously all this stuff, like there are 12 holes we have to fill and we did not get that many. So I'll keep you posted if progress is good. But honestly, if we had only left with the Tom Ford book, I would have been 100% happy. Um, but 
It's time to feed Miss Chick. Time to make my dinner. And once everything's prepped, I'll show you. Okay, so this is what I just heated up. I probably should have taken a photo of it first because it's all mixed up now, but base, I'll pop a little photo here, but basically it's salmon, cilantro, lime, quinoa, black beans, and then I made, and it's all gone of course, but I made like a pico kind of thing. It had tomatoes, yes, tomatoes, onions, green onions, jalapenos. And then I plopped a fat dollop of Greek yogurt on top. If you're not a Greek yogurt gal and you don't like the taste, I personally don't think it tastes like anything. It tastes like what sour cream does. It just makes it like creamy and yummy. Obsessed, obsessed with this dish. I'm gonna be making it next week as well. All right, it's kind of late. It's 9.45. The only reason I'm up this late and eating, usually I go to bed at, like, try to go to bed at like nine, is because Michigan State basketball is playing. So we're watching that, cleaning the entire house, just getting things to their spots. It's actually going pretty well, but I just made my Ninja Creamy Protein Ice Cream. I use, hold on, stay there. I use, um, Alani's um, Frosted Flurry, Code Marissa, and it tastes, I'm not kidding, just like a Oreo McFlurry from McDonald's. It's just a dupe. So I use this, one and a half cups of Fairlife um, milk, tablespoon of sugar-free pudding mix, a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum, and I put, I mix two Oreos in this, and then I top it off with one Oreo on top. I don't know the macros. I think it's around 350, maybe 400 calories, 35 to 40 grams of protein. It's delicious. I absolutely love this. And then also you guys, I had a snack earlier with Mitch and I completely forgot I was like tracking. Um, I had this maybe at like seven. I had some Alani gummies, sour melon slices. These are our favorite ones. Like. We've tried many Alani like guilt-free snacks before and I think those are our favorite ones so far. But also, but yeah, I'm about to go sit down, watch the rest of the game. Michigan State is playing Minnesota. I'm a huge college b-ball girl and I'm gonna enjoy my creamy. I hope you guys enjoyed. I I still, I, I've decided I'm just not gonna share my macros. I already explained earlier, so I'm just not gonna share them, but in the description below, I will just share everything I ate and all the ingredients, like what I had in each dish but I hope you enjoyed. This was a highly requested video and I hope it was everything you guys wanted it to be. Oh, actually tomorrow I might just like check back in one more time and show you the finished, like built in that I bought all those home good items for. So I might see you tomorrow. Okay, love you guys, good night. Good morning, I hope you guys slept really well. I did not because Chick has been pooing her brains out. I think we woke up every single hour because she was crying. Here she comes. She was crying, whining, go outside to go potty. Anyways, this is the built-in where we're gonna put all the stuff that we bought. Um, there's like the Tom Ford book and then some other stuff, but you guys get the idea, hold on. This is like the before and I can turn on lights. So, this is an empty, and then there's all of the stuff we bought. My interior designer is gonna be here in about an hour and a half, so I just cleaned, worked a little bit, gonna clean some more, and then I will show you guys the after. All right, Robin just left. You guys, I was hyping this up like it was gonna be done today. It's not, but like I'm just gonna show you the progress we've made and then say goodbye because this vlog is just dragging on. So this is where we've like tentatively put everything. There's my book. I'm obsessed with my little book. There's that. We had got these little things. This isn't gonna stay. Oh, that's not gonna stay here, but I'm thinking like we get a longer one that can sit there and then I might just return this one. Chick, you wanna say goodbye? Mwah. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will talk to you next time.